Well, everybody, I've been doing a little uh, construction uh, on a new hobby. It's uh, cell phone pouches. Okay, uh, I'm over at Esperanza Middle School, and I'm making them for the teachers and the staff that want them for now. And then uh, I'll be on Etsy selling them for about ten dollars a piece. So uh, I've been asked to, hey, can you make a video on how you how you do this? Now I've been doing this for uh, I think two months now, but I've been vigorously doing over forty of them now. So you learn as you go on. You don't want to take uh, uh, a Doritos bag or a, a, a flimsy bag, okay, without something on the inside as a, like a membrane, an inner lining uh, that's, that's stronger to hold them together. Otherwise, the sewing machine, or even if you do this by hand, it'll rip away when you put the cell phone in the bag. Okay, so these bags that I do, uh, this person wanted Doritos, this person wanted the uh, hot flaming one, and what I do is I also put a little pouch inside okay I hope you can see it it's right uh, it's right there it's hard to see inside it's a little plastic one uh, I'm gonna put my finger in it and it is so it's a little plastic uh, area for money uh, the kids don't have to lose their money anymore on the lanyard around the neck or in their ID pouch and all that so uh, a good uh, what I call a membrane the inside of the pouch is something with a really thick plastic. This is a dog food bag for my little puppy that's over there. All right, so uh, so uh, it, it's actually got a pretty picture of a dog that can be used too. But you take the sides off, and this is what it looks like. All right, and this is what the underside is. It's got this lip there. It's already hemmed on both sides, and this is the piece that I cut off for the sides. It's about seven inches long. Okay, about seven and a half inches. And it's uh, it's about five inches wide, uh, four four inches. In any case, an iPhone four and five is about five inches long, and the length is what you really need because the the phone is going to be all the way at the top. What's really nice is it's hemmed already, like I said, and you want to trim the excess off. All this stuff that's hanging off here, you want to trim. If you don't have a dog bag, you can use cereal bags, the the bag cereals, something with a tougher lining that's inside that you're going to sew these guys onto. So this on the back is a dog food bag and the other one is sewn onto it. Underneath this is actually the dog food bag, uh, the clear clear side on the inside. All right, and if you notice I put things over the tops. Okay, I, I put on, on the uh, Velcro that straps goes all the way around. So the number, first thing you want to do is get your bags, clean them up. These are dirty, these are clean. You have to wash the inside and outside with soap because you got to get other people's breath, sneezing, touching, all that off of there. And I suggest nothing that's ever came in touch with peanuts, no granola bars, uh, no almond bags, all right, anything uh, that's a, a tree nut because there's allergies out there, all right. This is about the only thing when you sew two of these together, you do not need a membrane on the inside or a bladder or whatever you want to call that, uh, something on the inside. But this guy right here, you're going to need something on the inside. And I would actually use the white side facing this so the white would actually pop this out better. All right. So you're going to need two of these. And then what you're going to do is put a piece of plastic in there. I use a sewing machine. You can do this by hand if you need to. All right? You don't have a sewing machine. Uh, it takes a little bit more time. It takes me about an hour to make one of these. So let's go over to the sewing machine now. I didn't want to take you through each step, every single step, so uh, this is just a rough. Okay, what I did is I put a plastic bag here. This is my inner side. Okay, um, just so somebody was on there first, and then uh, the Dorito bag will go over this. Alright, so this, this just makes it stronger. So now remember, the bag, the money, they're going to put the money and stuff in. This is now the top. You want to reinforce with the edges because you don't want it to come unthreaded and if you want to feel better put tape on it so it doesn't come off. These are the marks on the back for where the belt's going to go through. Okay now I cut a strap in half and then, uh, then I uh, singed it with a, a lighter so it doesn't uh, unfray and then I stitched it top and bottom. So my next step to, to do here is on the back up on top I'm going to put the velcro. All right, I put a little uh, uh, decoration on the Velcro too, so so uh, it's it's going to work out pretty nice, I, I think. And, uh, and then what I'm going to do is also put this on the front, okay? Which uh, it's really nice that this is already done. So what I do is I bring this up, and I'm going to curl this around up on top. 
and just where the lines are, I want to go ahead and stitch that, and it'll be going across. And eventually, these are going to loop over. I'm hoping to hide this. I'm really, I might have to swap the bag out because that's ripped. So I might have to get another bag, which I have right here. Okay, instant swap, and that's that's now trash. So I uh, don't want to do a rip bag. So now I'm going to do that, and I'll bring you back. All right, now uh, this is the almost finished product. Uh, one thing you want to do before you put your Velcro on, all right, you're going to center it in the back, and uh, that's the little design I put on this one. And then you're going to line these up the best you can, and then you place your other one right here. These are little sticky things. Haven't had a sew one on before, so that's fine. Also with the Doritos, I folded it in the back and then sewed it, sewed it all the way across. Up top, it's, uh, uh, the top is flipped over and then I sewed it all the way across. Alright, so um, what you may want to do is uh, trim again with a pair of scissors. Anything on this side, on this side of the thread, uh, of the stitch. Now if you're hand sewing, you maybe uh, want to flatten that down anyway. So the next thing to do now is go ahead and uh, uh, sew the bottom all the way together. And, and uh, so it'll be, uh, be like that, and then you fold the, uh, the sides to the back. All right, you might have to clip some off because you don't want to sew on top of the straps. All right, it's just about finished. Uh, now it's up to you if you want to sew the side of the bag, but I don't do that anymore because nobody's going to interact with that. All right, and I found that stitches break a lot easier in there. So I, I, I uh, went ahead and tailored these down, cut these down. These are folded over, and that's the sides. So it's shown in the back, the dog food bag, and what I need to do now is go right here and right here to fasten these down. All right, and I might just do another run right across the bottom. All right, just to just to make sure the bottom doesn't come undone. All right, when I'm all done, I'll bring you back with a similar phone. It's five inch long uh, iPhone. I think it's the iPhone five. Uh, so my Android that I'm using actually actually is about the same size. Well, there it is, guys. Um, this plastic bag in there for money. You can't really see it too good. It's not in the way. That's similar to that's a Motorola. It's five inches, same dimension as the iPhone, because I don't keep the uh, instrument or a customer's phone with me. So it's a template. Uh, so it fits nicely right in there. That closes up, goes on the belt. Works great, reinforced. Okay, so uh, hey, uh, it's going to be on uh, Etsy uh, uh, website. Uh, I'll probably, if I can figure out what the link is, uh, when I uh, start putting things on there, they're $10 a piece. And you can have anything that you want that's, you know, a consumer's thing. I can't do Cowboys, Indians, uh, then, you know, Colorado. I can't do sports teams unless you have a bag or something. I am getting ready to uh, take something off of one of these things that's got a Geico uh, Sky, Sky type. Uh, thing and I'm going to make a bag out of that for uh, for a young lady at school. So uh, hey, there, there you go. Uh, not bad. Cool little way to recycle things. Hey, subscribe to see a whole lot more helpful videos. Bye.